Mel West founded the volunteer organization Personal Energy Transportation Project in 1995 to bring low-cost homemade wheelchairs to those in need in developing countries. They have since delivered thousands of pets to over 80 countries worldwide. From Columbia, Missouri, Human Wire correspondent Haroom Halmi reports. <laughs> I'm Al West, the director of uh, Pet Project Columbia. Pet is a um, all-volunteer organization. We're a 501c3 uh, humanitarian NGO worldwide. We're now in 82 countries. Pet stands for Personal Energy Transportation. The Pet is a three-wheeled, hand-cranked, sturdily built wheelchair with hauling capacity. It will go where an ordinary wheelchair will not go. It's designed for the third world where the roads and trails are bad and rough and where the people need to haul things. Well, it all started uh, back in 1995. I was sending mission items to a missionary. He said, uh, there's one more thing we need. We need a hand crank wheelchair for the rough roads because he was in Zaire where so many people lost legs in the war and landmines and all that. So I got with my friend uh, Earl Miner, who is a design engineer, we had worked together, uh, put the project to him and he and his son and I helped some design the pet. We went through several prototypes, improved them, sent four to uh, Zaire and asked Larry to put them in the worst place he could. Try them out, see if they'll work. If they don't work, we don't want to do it. So he waited about four months to make sure they were stood up and everything, and then wrote back and said, let's go for it. So we began to build them in my garage here in Columbia, Missouri, and we're now in 82 countries. The recipients are, first of all, very poor because of their situation and where they live. Secondly, uh, they come from a wide variety of causes. Uh, polio is one, landmines are one, birth defects are one, uh, leprosy, uh, diabetes, and a whole host of other causes. The real power of Pat is in the individual stories about persons. The young woman in uh, Honduras got polio at the age of two. When she was about 20 years old, she got a pet. And her parents wrote that she'd always been very Inclusive. She, wanted, she didn't want to get out and people, have people see her all dirty, crawling on the ground. So she stayed at home mostly. She didn't go to school, I think. But when she got her pet, they said she was immediately outgoing. They said she was outgoing someplace all the time. It changes their lives. And uh, I don't know anything more exciting than seeing that happen. So we have about uh, 50 volunteers at work here in our shop, related to the shop. And then we have, nobody gets paid a penny. I'm director of it. I'm here nine, ten hour days and don't get anything. Um, we have people all across the country, probably 20 more that make parts for us at no cost to us. They're all volunteers. We, uh, we're, we're very popular uh, and we do have, I think, right now 16 people on the waiting list for volunteers. People love the project. Most of us are retired. And we want to do something useful. We've had a good life. We, the world has treated us well, and we want to leave something behind that's useful. And this gives people an opportunity. So uh, the joy is in, in helping others, and, and uh, that's why I do it. It's, uh, it's a part of my religion, certainly, but I find great joy in doing it. And uh, in a way, it's a selfish way, but uh, that's the way it works. Uh, pet, I anticipate in five years we'll be doubling our production and um, we'll be steady, steady ahead. It's the need is out there. There are 21 million persons that crawl on the ground. That's just too many people crawling on the ground and there's no, utterly no reason for it. Mm -hmm.